Just explain everything from getting into the transfer portal to being in communication with Coach Gus and UCF and um, now being here. Just start from the beginning. Man, I remember I can go back to when our last game we played Sanford, man. When I finished, I was talking to a couple of the guys, you know, because, like, some of my teammates was, like, realizing, like, for me to take my next step, like, that's what I may have to do, you know, even though I love my guys from my old team. So after the game, man, I remember hugging a lot of dudes, crying, telling the guys I love them, miss them, stuff like that, and, Man, just talking to my mom and stuff like that, and decided it was a good thing going to Porter for me. So when I entered the Porter, you know, and I finally entered the Porter, and it was an open day, man. It was just a lot of coaches hitting my phone, everything, just staying on the phone all day, not really having breaks or being able to really just live after my season for real. I just had to really go into thinking about what's best for me, what's going to be best for my family. Um, when I got a call from a 407 number, part of my phone, I was like, what's well, Orlando? What could, who could this be? You know, I'm just, because, you know, and when you know, Porty Seals, numbers pop up, you try to remember those air codes, like, okay, yeah. this could be, this could be. So seeing, I seen that number pop up and just hearing Coach um, Kenny Ingram on the phone and he just saying, like, we'd like to offer you, you know, like, that was probably one of the first, that was probably one of the first O's I got in the portal for real. And it just seems surreal because, you know, coming out of high school, like, I really didn't have a lot of P5, stuff like that. So FCS was the route I had to take. So, after seeing like everybody tell me no, and then it's like God told me yes, so just make it to that point. So once I made it to that point, talk to them, stuff like that, then I got a lot of offers from each conference, you know what I'm saying? But when I came, I came to a visit for um, UCF and I came to a bowl practice, and I think that's what really got me for real. Um, when I came to that bowl practice, I seen how they practice, I seen the competitive nature, I seen how coaches interact with each other, I seen coaches even pushing each other, you know what I'm saying? And like even the small things, you know what I'm saying? So just seeing that and seeing how the team would just enjoy to go against each other. Like it wasn't no hatred and stuff like that. You can see that they actually love getting each other better every day. So seeing that and, you know, hanging with some, seeing some teammates I have now, my official visit, man, like I ain't like, I just felt like this was the right place. You know, um, growing up, I was a huge Auburn fan still, still was, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm UCF go Knights, we'll beat them now, you know, but growing up, you know, seeing Gus Miles on that sideline, like Cam Newton, like that was like my favorite team growing up. I used to have Cam Newton Jersey. So just seeing, like, actually talking to him and Tim showing me that he really wanted to play for him, like, that was great. And outside of all the coaching and the players and the competitiveness, how is it to come to a conference like the Big 12 to be able to play football in one of the biggest conferences in this and in Orlando? Um, first of all, being in Orlando is great. Um, playing the Big 12, man, it just seemed like, you know, as a kid, you always want to go play in them big conferences big stages, big arenas, 90,000, 100,000 fans showing that you got what it take, you know, being on ESPN, top 10, you know what I'm saying? I feel like those are opportunities that that's mm -hmm. given me now playing the Big 12 and going against good competition. I know going against the guys that we have here going to get me better every day and the teams that we go against, you know what I'm saying? That's going to help me better for my future career, you know what I'm saying? So just, man, the Big 12, it just feels like a dream for real, man. There's a lot of teams we play. You know, it's a lot. they just added a lot of teams, so it's going to be a lot of new media and stuff like that. So it's just now it's like, man, it's time to go play ball, man. It's a big boy league. And how would you say the culture is in the locker room right now? Um, Obviously, a lot of changes on the defensive end, new mm -hmm. coaches, new players. So what, what, what's it been like for you? Um, right now, you know, we're just working out separate groups for real. But, like, when we when, like, when everyone hangs around each other or, like, we get you like we wasn't good and, like, before we came to here – um, there's a lot of guys like they everyone's cool for real. Everybody talk to each other, like even like you know, I'm a new guy, so it's it's been quite a few times like guys like RG Harvey, you know what I'm saying? They'll just come up, dab me up, like let me know, like bro, you on the team now, you know what I'm saying? Just you feel me? Just telling everybody what's up and everything. So that was that was good for real. Just see that like it's not two people it's not people around here that's Hollywood or anything, like they'll come up to you like, What's up? Are you good? Yeah, I'm like yeah, and that's just great for real. And have you seen any leaders from the defensive end, uh, from the defensive side of things, uh, um, come up to you? And have you created a relationship with some of those guys? Um, like Lee, Lee stays with me. Um, you know the fridge. You know, yeah. hanging out with him every day, talking to him. He telling me his blueprint stuff like that, or what he got going on, and just telling him that like I'm with him. You know, he's an interior guy, and I'm an edge rusher. So just telling him like I'm with him, and just let him know like I know parts of the game. Malachi Lawrence, you know, talking to that guy, you know. Cause you know he just had a big year, so we just talking and conversing stuff. Tell him like, yeah, I could be on the other side of you. We can wreak, wreak havoc. Like, I'm not gonna leave you out there by yourself, type stuff. And for a fan who's not familiar with your game, what would you say is the strongest part about your your skill set? Um, the strongest part of my skill set, I really know how to rush the passer. I mean, I understand angles. I understand like the line that I gotta stay on. You know, I gotta stand. I gotta really turn my shoulders. I'm not just throwing half the move and I throw my move. I know how to throw it. You know what I'm saying? To displace the old lineman. Um, I feel like I got a high motor. Like during the game, like. If you like, if some guys go back and watch my film stuff like that, like during the game when I start making plays, like I don't know why, it's like I get more energy. I want to go make the next play. I want to go make the next play. I want to go make the next play, and I'm just I'm real physical at the point of attack. Like I can I can really hit. 
And what would you say you're bo- you're most working on improving as the season comes? Um, working on improvement is you know just t- tuning up. You know, just tuning up, becoming not just be being good at the pass rush or good at rush something like becoming great at it. Actually, listen to the coaches and stuff like that, and actually absorb the information and just be be like be that coachable player that the coaches want me to be. You know what I'm saying? Just understanding where I gotta go and how I gotta do things and stuff like that. Like I'm just trying to understand the technique for real. And there's been speaking with a lot of people, there's been a shared vision in the locker room that the goal is to win it all. What are your thoughts on that? And how are you guys gonna reach that um, level? If you're not trying to win it all, what you win it for? You know, that's that's something that my mom told me ever since my like I was six and first started playing football. She told me like if you if we take you to football practice, you better give it all. There's no reason for you to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm big. I'm big people. I'm a big fan of like not wasting time. You know, there's a lot of guys here like this on their last year and this their shot to go to the league and stuff like that. And this same thing with me. So I'm not gonna let myself down. Let my family down. Of course, I'm not gonna let the team down. Yeah, perfect. And one last fun question: What's your go-to song before a game? Um, my go-to song before the game, man. Hmm. My go-to song for the game is uh, probably some um, J. Dot um, Shoot It Out. That's my that's my go-to song. That gave me ten. Uh, 